Ian here from Glen Sound. Um, we're here, we've been building uh, commentary boxes for the last 40 years, so pretty much every sports thing you've ever heard has pretty much gone through a Glen Sound commentary box. Um, we now diversified into lots of other areas, and because broadcast wants everything their own way, we've had to diversify over the years. Um, so we sort of commentary boxes here. We haven't brought a whole range along, but we've got a couple of our basic boxes there. Um, we do a, an awful lot of interfaces, so for Dante, so you've got mic-ins, line-ins. Um, we do a, a, an intercom range here, which again is a small selection from belt packs with a two-channel, a four-channel, um, desk mount units. We also have rack mount units, so again we can build a small intercom from using Dante controller, uh, which again keeps the costs down. It's very easy to to work your sort of flow through and again um, just a nice good quality sound system. Um, we've got a couple of new products here this is um, it's called the PM4 which is a paging microphone so this has got four channels on it that allows you to page different areas so it can run a little chime so you can then alert people. Um, we can also from here alert um, with this which got a little product called the LH4 um, that can change colour depending on what channel is talking to it. This is really useful if you're running double rigs so you could actually have the, the rig change from the red to the blue. Everybody knows what system's running from that point. Again, really simple, just using Dante controller. Um, got our Divine Monitor here, which is a PoE powered um, speaker. Um, cast aluminium little case. Uh, volume control on the front with four inputs on there, all over Dante. Everything can be switched on and off as well from the front. So if you want to disable all the controls on the front, if it's going into a theatre or backstage of the theatre, you can have um, the audio running from the stage and then announcements can still come through and you can prioritise the audio on there within the software. So that's all software controlled as well. Um, I'll come back to that one in a moment. We've got a new, another new product here, which is our mic amplifier. Uh, it's again a Dante dual mic input. Really simple. Um, can do phantom power, dynamic, level control on the front and it's got little PPE monitors on there so you can set your levels. Um, the Nomad, this is a mobile phone, believe it or not. So this uh, is a broadcast mobile phone. So you put a SIM card in the front, dial your number and then you've got a high quality headset that you can plug in make a phone call back to the studio can then be used for um, broadcast and go straight out to broadcast. And then I think finally, coming back to this, this is our new product that we've just launched, um, which is called the GTM, which is an eSports controller box. So the idea is in an eSports tournament, each player would have one of these. You can then, they can set their own level in their headphones, the team level, which can be up to six members in the team and the coach, and then on here you've got game, which is where we slightly differ from uh, other products that have previously been available, in that we've got, you can actually run SP diff, USB audio, analog audio in, and Dante audio, uh, that can all run in all over the Dante network, so that can be fed out. Uh, and another feature, not on this particular one, but we can do SDI embedding and de-embedding, so the actual broadcaster can run a feed straight in, straight out, and then take all their game audio back out into the broadcast, so very good little product. Dual headphone uh, amplifiers in there as well. Um, and one other feature within eSports tournaments, because they don't want the players that aren't playing to know what's going on, they can, we can actually create a white noise through this as well. So they will sit there with their headphones on with white noise so they can't hear what's going on in the rest of the tournament. So some really good little features in there. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much.